Yeah. All right, friends. So, what you want to go by tonight? Uh, jazz. Jazz. Yes. All right, jazz. Put your right hand up and your left hand on your word, wherever you decide your word is. What you mean? Oh, your heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, hold it just like that. Okay. We solemnly agree that we have your permission to post this across all of our media, social media platforms. Yes. Is there anything, and I do mean anything, that's off limits that you don't want us to ask you about? Um, no. If we do ask you something that's off limits, do you understand you can say no or pass to the next question? Yeah. Let's get it. Okay, literally, it's no pressure. I'm your host, Bang on Bug. It's your girl, just came for real. And we got a special guest. Um, I just tell everybody where you originally from. All right, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, you don't got to talk in there. You oh. gonna talk right here. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Jazz. I'm Jazz. Um, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I own GSA Uni Spa, and I went to Spelman College. Um, I'm 25. Okay. Yeah. You have kids? I got kids? No, no kids. No. I have like step kids, but no kids. Like, you married? I have a lot of step kids. No. It's just a term, step kids. Okay, okay. I ain't really like married. But they like my, my boyfriend kids. Mm -hmm. So, my step kids. Oh, he got a lot of kids? No, he got two. How long y'all been together? For like three years. Okay. When, okay, when y'all get married? Um, I mean, it's not up to me. Like, I ain't getting on my knees to... Like, I'm saying you got to set the day. I mean, you got to be like, hey, nigga, it's <laughs> three mean, years. I feel nigga. like, yeah, it's... I feel like we going to get there. I don't want to put a date on it. Like, so I'm he can wait for another eight and you'll be no, like, okay, no, okay. another cool. eight, no, no. I feel like five to seven years we together and then <laughs> marriage, I'm good. I agree. But with that. like you saying, like eight, that's too long. No. Like I feel like at that point we just dating and dating. We not dating to you saying we married. We just dating. We not yeah. I feel like y'all be rushing that so bad. I'm saying two years is women be like, you bullshit like no, the first three years you gotta get to know the person. Like, how long did y'all yeah. talk? Like, get to know each other before y'all decided y'all were boyfriend and girlfriend? For him, it was two weeks. Right. But, like, <laughs> it was like a month. It was like a month, and then that's when we was like, all right, cool. So it's like they were still getting to know each other as yeah. people in their relationship. So it's like the first three years you need to get to know who that person is. And then y'all can start, you know, being like, all right, I think I actually like you enough to be with you forever. Yeah. You married? I'm divorced. Okay, so when did you propose to her? We was off and on for like 10 years. Well, I'm saying, but when did you propose to her? After mean? 10 years? Uh, probably like eight. But we was off and on type shit. Like, when we broke up, the one time we broke up, then it was like, it was like a year. Then y'all got back together? Yeah. Okay, okay. What made you yeah. decide to propose to her if y'all wasn't consistently on? Yeah. I kind of felt like uh, I was done playing type of shit. Like, because I was fucking bitches and mm. I was doing all this wild shit. But I just felt like I was ready. And I, I felt like she was like at the age to where like we both finna stop bullshit. Mm. So it was and like. So you decided to take that leap. Yeah, but. Uh, but it didn't work out. Nah. Yeah. Probably because you didn't know her. Mm -hmm. With the on and off. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I guess. I, 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 I was glad I got it at my sister because it was like I wanted to be married. Mm -hmm. So when I got that shit out of the way, it wasn't like, I want to do that shit again. Like, it don't matter if I get married again to me. Because so. uh, you did it already? Yeah. But it probably would have been more dope if it was like with a more dope, you know, person. Yeah. Somebody for you, you know, not to say I don't know if she was for you or not, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if it worked. No, she tried to come back too, but that shit did. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm um, forgivable. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you grow with both of your parents? Did I grow with both of them? Yeah. Yeah, my mama and my dad. Um, but they divorced, like, when I was like, maybe about 14 or 15, 15 years. And then, but they still was like best friends and stuff. Like, I always had my mama and my dad. Okay, so um, what's your relationship like with your dad? Are y'all close or y'all just cool? Um, at first I thought my dad was like real strict, 
So for a while, I was kind of like scared to talk to him about certain stuff. But now, like, we real close. Like, we closer than we ever was. But, like, yeah, we close. Mama and dad. You closer to your mama and your dad? I was closer to my mom. I lost my mom last year. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm close to my dad because of the situation. But I was way closer to my mom. Did it bring you closer to your father? Yeah, for sure. That's good. For sure. You know, my father said he's so hell of a hold up. The damn trash can. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you you sound like you from the suburbs. Like, we, we, like you grew up in, like, the suburbs? Um, I wouldn't say I grew up in the hood. Like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not from the hood. But, um, my parents just had me in good neighborhoods. Like, you know, I, I was, I grew up in Binghamton and I grew up in Orange Mount. Because, like, my granddaddy, my great granddaddy lived in Orange Mount. And my grandmama lived in Binghamton. So, it's like, I went, like, thugging outside. Like, I just go to my granddad, my grandma's house or my great granddaddy's house just to go to school type stuff. But, yeah, I'm not from the suburbs, though. Like, I just feel like I was, like, middle class. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, my parents just made sure I was, because I was real smart. Like, I was about to get tours. But they just made sure, yeah, that I went to like good schools and stuff. But yeah, no, I ain't no, I ain't so well, but I ain't hood. So I'm like a mix. Okay, well, last time somebody took advantage of you. Um, I don't know. Like, people don't take advantage of me. Not even a man? No. No. I feel like I'm a win in the end. Nobody take advantage of me. Like you a what? I, I say I'm a win in the end. Mm -hmm. That's be like I ain't taking nobody taking advantage of me. Yeah, you you might think you did, but to me, you ain't taking advantage of me. <laughs> they in they in the chat. They from Memphis too. They say it's nice to even know the area. Yes, and it is. Those are historic black neighborhoods in Memphis. Yeah, but see, I went to hood high school. Like East was good. Like when my brother went there, and like for 40 years I went east with the school. But then when I went, it was like, it's hood. It was like hood to me. Like then any other schools that I ever went to, like east was hood. That was like the high school. So I feel like that's when I kind of could see like the real hood stuff. Like mm -hmm. in my, just in a sense. But I know I didn't see like hood, hood stuff. Cause like I said, my mama, they didn't, I wasn't raised in like a bad neighborhood. Do you think it's a negative connotation that comes with somebody saying you seem like you're from the suburbs? Oh, no, no, no. I think like a lot of stuff. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I don't feel that way. Like, I take it how it comes. Mm -hmm. And then if I feel like it's defined within me, then yeah, I agree. But I mean, I heard that like a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't, uh -uh. I wouldn't consider it. So if I was from suburbs, I'd like, yeah, I'm suburbs. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't care like where I'm from. Like, I acknowledge. Yeah, I, I lived in Memphis for like four months. Where you stay at? I can't. It was some projects across the river. Like it was like in uh, what you know the pyramid was on that side of the river. It was yeah. on, across the river. Like it's, it was some projects though, but I can't remember the name of the motherfucker. But see, we don't consider that Memphis. That's yeah. West Memphis, in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you from Memphis, you don't consider West Memphis Memphis. That's Arkansas. I mean, I'm not claiming it. I mean, no, 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 I know. I know I'm just putting you up on game. I'm just putting yeah. you up on game. Like, Teach me. Shoot. That's like, like Baltimore. People, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, because I don't know if somebody from West Memphis. I had a friend from West Memphis. He kept saying, like, he from Memphis. And he was like, girl, you not from Memphis. Like, you from West Memphis. You from Arkansas. But it's still considered Memphis, but. It's called West Memphis. Like, yeah, but it's not Memphis. It's not Memphis. That's weird. It's not, I get it. Yeah, it's not Memphis. It's like. Once you go over the bridge, it's not Memphis no more. Like, that's how I looked at it. I don't know how other Memphis people look at it. So. That's like Baltimore. You go to Baltimore, but they be like, ain't Baltimore, Maryland? It's like, kind of. Like, yeah. it's in Maryland, but it's not Maryland. Like, no. It's different. It's a different culture yeah. and different type of people. They said you don't sound like you from Memphis. Yeah. But they hear it when you say certain words. <laughs> people say I sound like different, different states. Like, Memphis, Atlanta, New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I sound like New Orleans because my boyfriend from New Orleans. So yeah, I just pick it up. Yeah. So you ain't like the yeah. niggas you date? Yeah. I just don't. You know what I'm yeah. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, so um, how did you know you was in love? Um, I 
I mean, this was like my first relationship. So, I knew I was in a different relationship. Like, I didn't date other niggas. I never got in a relationship with them. So, I feel like this was it, you feel me? And, like, he, he been there for me since through everything. You feel me? It's like different. It's like we friends, but we also go together type shit. So, I feel like I knew I was in love, like, when I got in a relationship with him. So just, oh, so you don't say we together unless you in love? No, no, no. I'm saying like, like I got in a relationship with him, so I feel like, like, okay, of course, okay. Let me let me take that back. Of uh, the in love part came over time, yes, but I feel like to get in a relationship with him, this is somebody that I love, like that I wanted to continue with, mm-hmm. and it turned to in love instead of I love him. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. What do you do? What was he the just, point where you was like, I'm in love? Um, he just came like no other nigga did. Like, no nigga came like that. No nigga ever just did shit like that he did. Like so, what? Did shit for me physically. Like, I would date niggas. They wouldn't pay my bills. They wouldn't buy me shit. They, not saying they wouldn't, but I feel like since he was a little older, he knew how to treat a woman. In a sense, like whether than a young nigga, I was fucking with like young niggas, like, but they ain't know how to treat me. They ain't know how to take care of me. If you take care of me, that's that's it's a plus. Like you take every girl want to be taken care of, and then the other shit after. Like I lost my homie, he was there for me. He always been there for me. I lost my brother too, there for me. Like just there for me always. Whenever I need him, call him. He picking up. He there. He here. You want me? You want to beat me up? He here. Okay. He here. But nah, but like he, it's like a friend, somebody that's always there for you, type shit. That person, that one, like you gotta have that person. Okay, give me a traumatic experience um, <clears throat> you went through as a child. Traumatic? Yeah. Um. First thing you think of, don't skip it, because I know you thought of something already. <laughs> okay, don't skip it. all right. When I lost my brother, like. Y'all was real close? Yeah. That was like my only brother. My oldest brother. And then I seen him. So it just fucked me up as a child. Fucked me up as a person. What's what's your best memory of him? Um I remember one time he was going to an interview and he tried to run with me. And we kept earning in shirts, like we just kept earning it, like earning and earning. Just so we can get straight but if you know Lenny, like, you putting it on, it's going to get wrinkled, keep getting wrinkled. So we just earn it, like, because we just trying to make sure he get this job and mm-hmm. he got the job. Like, that's, it was just funny because we just kept earning that fucking shirt. And we knew, like, I knew in my head at that point, like, after we kept earning, it wasn't going to get straight. Like, it wasn't going to have no wrinkles. But mm-hmm. we kept earning them shirts because we just wanted him to, like, get that job every day. So, yeah. And he got it. Yeah. He did. Um... A, a beautiful lie and an ugly truth. What you mean? That you t- that she's told. She told or heard. Oh. So a beautiful lie that I told and the ugly truth that I told. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Why would you do that? It's hilarious. I don't be lying though. Wait, let me think. Like, let me think. A beautiful lie, like you saying, like I told you so good that everybody believe. Like saying I love you. No, I don't say shit. I'm not about to tell y'all that you know, but that's stupid. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like I might have told somebody I miss them and I don't miss them. Why? Um, because you might want to make somebody just feel good for their moment or something. You know? That's rude to not say that. You know what I'm saying? No, Even if somebody not. say I love you and you don't say that, that's like rude to me. No, it's not. It's not I mean, you're right because, like I said, I'm not going to say I love you right now, love you. But I just, I don't know. I just said it back. I just said it back. I didn't really have no reason behind it. I just said it. And the ugly truth is, it's like a bad truth. Like, I lied. Yeah, like, you had to tell the truth, but it wasn't, like, something nice. It was horrible. Not horrible. <laughs> Deplorable. <laughs> I can't really like think of that off that, like, of an ugly 
attention to what I need to. Are you mean? A little bit sometimes. You seem nice, but then you don't. Yeah, I mean, like a little bit. <laughs> he over there sneaking like he knows something. <laughs> I mean, I can, get, <laughs> I can get mean, but I'm pretty much nice. Like, if you don't get on my bad side, then no, I'm not going to be mean. You seem passive. Passive? Like you just go along with what niggas say, man. Uh, no. No, she Not, sounds passive, but no. she doesn't seem she passive. passive. If it don't seem logical, then I'm not passive. But if I feel like he sound like, like you say, I'm a little green. Mm -hmm. No, like, that don't mean you green because uh, you passive. Uh, it means like you submissive. You can be yeah. submissive. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I just was thinking of a different. I mean, it's good to be submissive. Like, yeah, I'm going to listen to my nigga, or, you know, but I'm not going to do everything that he say, or, like, I'm not going to agree with everything that I he mean, say. I mean, you want to be a wife, right? I'm not going to agree with everything he say. I'm saying you want to be a wife, right? Yeah. Well, you need to obey. What you mean, obey? Whatever he say, that's what the fuck go. <laughs> but what if I say is what the fuck goes, too, well, right? Well, he can listen to you. Yeah. But, yeah. Girl. You don't want to be no wife, then. I'm just don't, get, don't get him started. Nah. Yeah. Cause I could be a wife. I'm gonna be a great wife. You feel me? I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna, but it's like <laughs> it's the terms <laughs> that you use and obey, and you, ha you he's gonna listen. Like I didn't grow up like that. You feel me? I ain't grow up like that. It's respect on both levels. Like we gonna respect each other, but obey. Yeah, I respect all the people who obey me. <laughs> Not obey. That's like a child. Yes. You you can't look at it like. So what do you do when your man a manager say do this? You obey, right? You're not no, a child. You comply. You, obey. you comply. Or well, you, that word make you feel better. You will say comply. Okay, yeah. Um, yes, obey. Forever nice. sound crazy to me. What makes you feel like you could be with a person forever? It's like ooh, it make me cringe. Um, forever. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a lot. I feel like, but forever, um, I feel like one, a person you could be around forever, like, can you be with this person forever, one, and then two, like, I just feel like support and being there for each other, like, if a person always there for you, right around, that's, like, I want to say it's a forever and a relationship, but it's forever. Like, that's a friendship. Like, that's just deeper than it. Like, y'all understand each other. And communication is big, too. Like, mm -hmm. we got good communication, then we could be forever. But I feel like it's a lot that come with forever. Like, mm -hmm. but, I mean, I Or, like, how do you adjust when, because with forever comes growth, right? So yeah. it's like their communication could have been on point today, but then next week, they money messed up and they don't know how to talk to you right or they lost somebody and they don't know how to you know handle what they're dealing with and still deal with you and be there for you so then in that situation where you're not getting what you want how will you cope um i mean like do y'all want me to speak like as far as my relationship or yeah i mean you want me to just speak like in general how you, you personally you? how would you oh well in my relationship um we had to work on it. Like, we had to work on, like, knowing that we got to just communicate. Like, we got to talk to each other. We got to see, like, what's going on. Like, you telling me what you don't fuck with. I'm telling you what I don't fuck with. Like, it's not the best all the time. It's not the perfect communication still. But I feel like we could get mad at each other and talk it out and see, like, you know, what we can do better for each other and for one another. Like, I feel like that's the biggest thing of, like, what keep us going. Type mm -hmm. shit, cause we just talk it, like we just talk about it, like we talk mm -hmm. about it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You feel me? It is what it is. Yeah, we gotta yeah. figure something out, like to how we can. We both gonna be upset about this situation. Like that's it. I feel like just talking and working through that shit. If y'all really want it, if you want it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I guess something um, something you do that's um, ghetto. That's ghetto. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, no, <laughs> that, that was oh good. I would have uh, said that about me too, though. Yeah. I do all those sounds. And I, yeah, I can get, like, ghetto, like, I feel like sometimes the way I talk is ghetto, 
like it, it come out better. But um, yeah, that just make me nervous. Like, why are you doing that? <laughs> It's okay. Mine is my volume at yeah. all times. Yeah. Like this, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, who gave you a hard time while you already having a hard time? Who gave me a hard time while I'm already having a hard time? Yeah. What you mean, like, say their name? Like, your example, like, the story. Um, um, or their name, too. Sure. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like just working a job. They gave me a hard time when I was already having a hard time. Like, I don't want to be here. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just that, like, job. Like, I don't feel like I had nobody that just made me mad or when I'm already mad. You know? Or, you know, the question that you said that, like, it's weird. Yeah. Okay, um, a relationship that could have been saved by an honest conversation. I ain't never in a relationship, but this is some shit. I like a friendship. Oh, all right. Okay, ask me again. Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a relationship that could have been saved with an honest conversation. Um. Okay, I feel like we resolved it, but because I don't really have no like relationship that could have been resolved like all the people that messed me over they came back we apologized and whoop, whoop, whoop. but it was this one I had a roommate and she did some trifling stuff that I did not mess with and I feel like we could have just talked about it after but you know I handled how I handled it and it is what it is but like she came back and you know said what she said or whatever but I feel like if we would just talk about it from the beginning it would have never got like that because it, it was never that deep Okay, um, okay, a quote, it say, um, learn your place in people's life so you won't, um, overplay your part, like, mm-hmm. you know how you can relate to that. You want to say? Uh, learn your place in people, uh, learn your place in people's life so you won't overplay your part. You said, how do I interpret that? Give me, uh, example of how you can relate to that quote. Um, just don't put your, your eggs all in one basket. Because you never know, you never know people, intentions, you feel me? You could be putting your energy all into a person or something or whatever the case may be. And then it could not be growing you. It could be holding you back. So I think that's how it resonates with me. So are all your eggs in the basket with this relationship or was like kind of like 12? It was like 10 in and two out the basket. Like how you, how you doing <laughs> How many eggs is in there? Twelve. Okay, it's a dozen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's twelve in. Like, three to four years, I'm locked in at that point. Like, um, we didn't, um, we didn't been through that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, it's just like, I ain't, they all in there. They in there, they ain't eating, they ain't eating nothing. They ain't, they ain't crying. No, they ain't okay. They ain't there. All of them gone hatch. Yeah. So, y'all, y'all go through the telephones and shit? We don't have to do that. No. We used like I said, it's in the beginning. Like this we more mature now. Like I feel like we both understand in a relationship and how it go. But yeah, we done went through phones before, but I don't do that. I don't you you looking for something you go through phone at that point. You supposed to look for like, something. But now you say years you of your life with a person going no. through a phone. But that means you don't got no trust. Don't trust mm-hmm. nobody. So why are you in a marriage <laughs> or a relationship with somebody you don't got trust? You don't got to have 100% trust. But you got to have trust. Like, why are you going through my phone? I that, trust you with money. That showed me that you insecure. Mm-hmm. It give me, like, uh, People try to play the insecure shit on, like, because they don't want you to do certain shit. So I don't yeah. even go with that. Like, a, a woman can say, well, you insecure or you... Uh, well, call me that then. But, but I got to go through that phone. Yeah, what I'm trying yeah, to do, like... That. I mean, it is. You, it is that though. Do you find something every time you go through their phone? Yeah, because you was like, I want to do it like it's a motherfucker start acting weird. I just like, give me your phone, like. So if you guys start acting weird, I'm gonna ask for it, like. But weird, like how? Like phone always down type shit. Um, 
if you not answering quickly, he's like, oh, responding back to me when you be out and shit like that. Like, it's, it could be any little thing. I remember I was dating this chick. Uh, she went to the bathroom downstairs before she came up. And she stuffed her drawers and her shoe or something. She, she was like some weird shit, but when you just do anything different, I pay attention to yeah. this shit. Like, How you talking about girls in that shit? I went in the bathroom because I was like, she was in there for too long. Mm. And I'm just sitting there like, why the fuck she in there? So I went in the bathroom. I'm just, I said, ah, oh, this motherfucker. I guess the nut drink in her drawers. And she was you saw her, her doing it? No, I just went, I just went in there and seen her drawers in her shoe. It was just like, <laughs> oh gosh, it was just weird. I was just, I started looking around and I seen her drawers in her shoe. What kind of shoe she had on? Some white Reeboks or some shit like that. Like, and she put it in there and was hanging out? It was it's stuffed in the shoe. But that she had on? Yeah. How did you she see? Just, she just put her drop. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it could be she Gen just had sex with a nigga or she, maybe she have a discharge and she on the day with you. She just want to be no, free. That bitch was coming in in the morning time. <laughs> like, oh. Something was going on. But that's still insecurity. You know that? It's like insecure people kind of take it as a negative connotation, but it just means what it is like some lack of security. You feel like something is unstable in this you. situation. So, and that's the oh, you, you answered me too slow or whatever it was, it made your belief in them unstable. Yeah, but I know it's all the little shit though. Like, if you do something out of place, like I know it's, I don't always say nothing though, but. I know. You be paying attention. I be trying to be quiet. Do you say something every time you notice something different? I be trying to be quiet for a little bit so I can see how much stuff you do. Oh, I'll yeah. mm -hmm. be like, mm -hmm. I, I think I'm going to say something. Like, maybe a day or a couple of minutes or something, but I, I'm going to say something because I'm I'm real, like. Vocal. No. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm emotional. So mm -hmm. I, I can feel, like, energy and shit. So it's like, if I feel like your energy, I'm my energy on me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to correct your energy so I can be good. But I wouldn't say I see her off the day all the time. Like, it's not. But, like, it's not. Yeah, I, w I used to be like, I got to say something now. Yeah. But I got to know the whole story first. Yeah, so I got to so shut up. Yeah. Or, you know, like, I'm like, you know, let me watch. I got to investigate this. Yeah. I just do a laugh. I go, like, okay. <laughs> you do that to me. I want to know this. Like, <laughs> like, what you laughing at? What's up? What you looking at? Nothing? Nothing's on your phone? Just laughing for nothing. Okay, what what you feel like your uh, biggest flex as a girlfriend is? Um, you. I don't know. Um, what you mean? Like something that I do? Yeah. Um, something that probably most girlfriends don't do. Like massage his feet. Be touching his feet. I know that's right. That's too much. The feet. It's the feet. Oh, you're not gonna do that. Nah, I do it, but uh, it's all, nah, not all the time. Like, he asked me now. But I guess touching your feet or, um, shit, just investing in him. Investing in what he is. Okay. Oh, like what he likes to do and things like mm -hmm. that. Man, you start touching your feet, your back out run out. Who? You. Anybody. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You start touching his feet. It's like I love this thing. Yeah. What did he do? <laughs> Lay right down, like <laughs> get the rub in them. Feet ain't a big deal. Like. So yeah. what you think? What you what you think is a, like a big flex if you had a girlfriend? Like a woman, like I seen this video with this woman, like did a guy feet. Like all that kind of shit, she did his feet, his nails. She oh, I did that. Doing his beard. Yeah, I did that. Make his favorite food. Like his the whole day is just like it's his day. Like she just do whatever he say. But I did like a little spa day. Um, yeah, I be doing like stuff like that sometimes. Yeah. That is cute. Yeah. Okay. Um, something you regret, but you will never do it again. Something you don't regret, but you will never do it again. Mm. You don't regret it, you'll never do it again. Yeah, I like that question. You don't, somebody don't regret, but I never do it again. Um, mm, it's hard, like, the question's so hard. Like, 
Like, I never <laughs> thought about stuff like this. Like, it's supposed to make you think. Like, yeah. I want you to just. Oh, so like, y'all, I can think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just be silent. Okay. Um. I guess this one time, like, where I was driving and I was speeding and, like, I had an open bottle container. I was smoking and whatever. So I had my seatbelt on, just speeding. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I just let that day be. But I don't regret it. You feel me? Like, if I would have went to jail that day, I would have been sad, but I would have just took my consequences. But, yeah, I guess that's what I can think of. I probably did some more wild shit, but I So you do drugs? But you, you do more than weed, or you just do weed? Not do weed, no, not drugs. That's drugs, right? Marijuana, no. Is marijuana a drug? I don't know. I think nowadays it is. No, a lot of jobs don't. Uh, they'll test you, but not for THC. The hard stuff. Yeah. Okay, Um. I guess a, a toxic family member that you have to stay away from. My one cousin named Angel, huh? <laughs> you. Was huh. she like violent or something? Nah, she just did some foul stuff, and I don't, I don't, I don't mess with that. Oh, she. It sounds like she just fucked you around or something. Yeah. Never. Um, it was just like it was with some food stamps. Like, <laughs> you know, like I was trying to buy some food stamps for her during a time, and like I had bought some food stamps for her. And then the second time I asked for some more, I'm trying to put my money in her pocket. She gonna tell me two hundred dollars food stamps for two hundred dollars. I can just go spend my two hundred dollars and pay that tax. Yeah. Like, but I feel like she was being like ignorant. She was like, "You got it." Like, mm. What's she smoking on? Yeah, like, that's you know no point. Is? Like you was on some weird stuff, but yeah. whatever. Like you lost out on the money, not me. But whatever. Huh? Talking about you got it. I'm staying away. All in my pocket. Okay, um, a person in a memory that uh, put a smile on your face. A person in a memory? Yeah. Um, seeing my mom and my brother. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever. We having fun. We in the house just, just watching TV. Whatever we doing. Like, anything with them. I do anything with them. Whatever they want to do, we going to create that memory. That's what I want. Okay, um, okay, this person hurt me, but I still, I'm still there for them. This person hurt me, but I'm still there for them? Yeah. Um, I don't want to say her name. What, what example then? Um, how did they hurt you? Um. They just said some hurtful things, and I thought that, like, you know, I was being there for them, like, you know, doing what, I guess, would make them feel like however they did, like, however they felt, I wish I could have did. Not, not I wish I could have did, but however they felt, I didn't want them to feel that way about me. So it, like, hurt my feelings or whatever, but, yeah, her, it was, she just said it's like some hurtful shit. Or like some shit that I feel like, damn, like I'm thinking I'm there for you, but I'm really not there for you because of what you saying to me. So yeah. Okay, I guess kind of um, I guess talk about your business and like how you got started. And um, so Juice and Yummy Spa it was started in Murfreesboro in 2023, in November. Um, and it started with me and my mama. So my mama had opened a spa up in Murfreesboro and. She just asked me like, cause I had started, I had started, um, I had started like doing brands or whatever, but I came up with this name like Juice. So she was like, can I use it or whatever? Like I'm about to start a spot. I was like, yeah. And she was like, can you help me or whatever? So I'm like, yeah. Like you know, I'm like, of course I'll help you. So while she was up in Murfreesboro, like I was just handling like logistics, like marketing and stuff like that. She was actually running the spot. Um, so of course, like it started in 2023. My mama, I lost my mama. Um. No, it actually started in 2022. I'm tripping. And then my mama passed in March of 2023. So that's when I tried to keep it there. 
Like, in Murfreesboro, people go on, but it's just where they want to go and how I was thinking. So, I ended up moving into Atlanta. Um, and I actually collabed with, like, one of my friends. And so, we had created, like, this salon and spa. Um, so, it's inside of a actual salon and spa, but it's, like, just an enterprise and my own business. Um, but I own places there. Ooh. Let's go. Interesting. Now, I, do shit, man. I just make me think like, I don't know, in my head, they just make me think like, shut up. Or something. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Like, Stop that, talking. Yeah, yeah, like, that's how I make me feel, but I'm gonna keep talking though. Keep going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, um. So, so it's yeah. Like inside of a salon and suite. Yeah, so it's actually plus a London five and then just saying it's about inside. And, um,. Basically, we started it because we both had, like, feminine issues as women. Um, so, we just started it. We didn't really understand before we liked it. And so, we just like, let's keep doing it. Let's promote um, holistic wellness, feminine health. And we just come up, came up with the end. Oh, the sound. Oh, the damn thing. Talk loud. This weed probably got really uh, good stuff. Uh, this shit probably ain't going to stop. Just keep going. But yeah, basically, yeah, it started with me and my mama. And then I ended up moving into Atlanta, and I'm just continuing on the legacy and continuing to promote holistic wellness and feminine health. What area is it based in? Um, Sandy Springs. It's nice. like 10 minutes from Atlanta. Nice. It's not like deep in Sandy Springs. Um, yeah. So, we, I mean, in 10 years, what, like, where do you see your business? Like? Um, so, I have two. Like, but I'm highlighting just that yellow spot today. But I'm saying I have two. So for plush, I plan to expand bigger to have more suites, more tenants, people. Um, but for juice, I also want to expand. I want to, um, I want to make it like a yellow spot, but also like a holistic like nail shop as well. Like maybe we only do pedicures. I don't know. I'm just still thinking about it. But I definitely want to go bigger with it. I want to be in conferences and talking to women about their feminine health, their vagina, um, and just taking care of themselves as women. Like, I feel like we should just take care of ourselves. And I feel like a young thing is something that women should add to their, like, monthly routine. Like, when you get your wags, get your hair done, I feel like it's important for women to do it. Um, you do wags? No, no, no. But we do have waxes in, in the inside the spa, yeah. We got an institution. So, yeah. I don't do waxes, though. I just do nails. Yeah, I heard when well, some girls said <laughs> girls be having like doodles. <laughs> oh, yeah, when they think wax. Yeah, she didn't say. Oh that. no, I mean, I mean, you, I worked at a wax place before, so I've heard different stories about the cat and the booty. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. And it's this nasty though. Yeah, it is. You know, oh, you say they give you nasty? wipes. No, I haven't. But oh, my yeah. friend, like, she wet, so she told me stories about women and how they come in her pee and her face, just different things. Like women be trifling, but they give you wipes <laughs> to wipe yourself before. So that's on them. But might as well just put a shower in there, like. But why you need a shower as a woman? You should right. be wiping yourself properly. Like why you got poop in your ass? I'm saying she could. <laughs> she ended up way there or something. Well, you shouldn't have came together. <laughs> you shouldn't have came together. She should have stepped into the restaurant first. Yeah, but like and I said, they got the wipes. wipes. They right. got wipes. Like we got a whole bathroom of wipes. You had no reason. <laughs> I'll say I, I can't wax you. I, I'll be like, just come back. You're not allowed to turn the customer down on you, no matter how they eat the rest of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, just forward, and we did. I know like, that's right. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, like, or they probably would tell them to go fix them to us. Like, you know, just throw it in. <laughs> Something in there. Yeah, and wipe it out. Something in there is hilarious. <laughs> but I feel like it's just nasty. It's nasty. So, you so what's something we haven't asked about you that our audience should know about you before we go? Um, um, I don't know. Like, I'm just, I guess, promote more of my business. Mm -hmm. um, I say come get seen. It's beneficial. Um, you can also come talk to me anytime. We can have a girl's talk and whatever. I'm a very open person. Person. Um, and I hope just people see me more, uh, see what I'm trying to do, see what I'm trying to promote, see what I'm trying to 
you know, being for us women. Um, and it's beneficial for your man too. Like y'all already know. But that's pretty much it. Like I say, come here to say on this pod, flesh to learn this pod. We got pop up shops, events, um, anything. We rent out the space. Whatever y'all wanna do. We're looking for tenants, everything. Um, and if you wanna know more about me, just follow me on Instagram. Okay. Oh, no, no. I was gonna say, like, what's too much? Like, you know how some people like, say something to you, you be like, damn, why are you telling me all that? Like, what's what you feel like is just too much? I don't feel like not too much because I feel like if you keeping it real, you just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's who you are. Like, that's you feel comfortable enough to tell me that type stuff. Because I didn't have a lot of people that I feel like telling me like too much. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But it's like I just feel like in that moment they trust me. I feel like dang, like this person trusts me, they comfortable with me to tell me that. But I wouldn't say too much, it just depends on the sex. Like if you doing too much. Like you telling me loud, this big and like I feel like if it's in a setting that's too much. But I feel like not too much. You keeping it real, you saying too much. You telling your truth. Yeah, you ain't lying. You telling too much, really. What is something like you kinda uh say to maybe like a stranger that that was kinda like too much. <laughs> um, I probably like was um I probably was like just talking too much, like just saying like too much about my life or like too much about this story or this person or something. Like I feel like that's when I'm saying too much. But I don't really say too much until I'm like drunk or something. I was gonna say anything drinking. Yeah, I just keep it. You know, I try to keep it. I don't be trying to tell too much. But when I do get to talking, I'm going to be talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you said you was in the studio. Like, what mm-hmm. What you was doing in the studio? He was rapping. Oh, he rapped? Yeah. But I managed, I managed artists before. I still got an artist, but I just work with him. Like, learn. We working with, like, a producer that's trying to, like, help him. So, I was just in there with him. Are, do you, are you bold enough to say if somebody's not good? Like, mm-hmm. For sure. You said. Yeah. Out and all. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like I'm not gonna let you be out there like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just keep it real with you. But I, I know how to say shit in a sweet way. Like I be sugar coming sometimes. But if you want the real, like if I feel like you can handle the real, I'm gonna tell you the real. But yeah, him he, I had a he was like my best friend. That shit was so sly. And I told him like I don't think it's good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how do you tell like this? This uh, let's just say your friend <laughs> pussy stank. How do you how do you say that in a nice way? Um, you need to come get your pussy stank. Um, <laughs> you know, stank helps smell. Yeah, it can help smell, but like if you got something that you need to take antibiotics for, that's what you need to go to the doctor for. But we help with cleanliness, all that. Um, you need day care. But it ain't it's not just for like if you having issues. It's just for a clean. Like you got your period, you need to be <laughs> stay type stuff. But I I'll be nice. I would say Friend, I don't know. Somebody smelling like like I don't know like what it is. And see my friends, they we real with each other. So she'd be like, What you talking about? You might be like, Are you talking about me? And then y'all be like, Yeah, like they don't smell right down there. And then they finally go correct themselves. I don't know what they do, but I ain't never seen my friends say, Thank you, God. I had to tell somebody that. <sighs> like one of my sorority sisters. Because the guys, like I hung around the guys. And so they all had encounters with her or whatever. But like one of them had recently dealt with her and it was like, such and such and such, try this cheese. And I was like, what y'all talking about? And they were talking about like the discharge yeah. that came from her. And I'm like, you dirty because you probably ate her out. And mm-hmm. then y'all all dirty because nobody not saying nothing or trying to help her again. So I went to her and I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on, but um, I, this is what I heard. Yeah, yeah they, they talking about you. And I just want to encourage you to go get checked out if yeah. you can. Yeah, that's sweet. But it was, nice. it was crazy though. I mean, just to hear the guys talk about mm-hmm. it. <laughs> I'm like, y'all are nasty. Who, they told me? No, my, my, blah, one of my sorority <laughs> sisters. I know what you Right. All right, um, <clears throat> literally, it's no pressure. I appreciate you coming through. Thank y'all.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and it's opportunity. That's cool. Yeah, we are um, interview yeah. some artists. Um, if you want to bring them on or whatever. Okay. Just let us know. Yeah, sounds good. All right, and we'll see y'all next week, man, and we out. I was going to pose like three okay. seconds for the picture. Okay, appreciate it.